All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Darren Till and Dan Hendo Henderson. So we get another look at a guy who many believe might be the best grappler in this division. He has a lot of different tricks that are part of his trade, and he's got a favorable matchup here tonight. And the grip strength. The grip strength of these guys that are high-level grapplers are something to behold. The guy grabbed me the other day and said, just feel, Daniel, feel the grip. And I was like, holy smokes. You can tell yeah. he has spent a lifetime right. of grabbing guys, maneuvering you, moving you into position to try and get you to the floor. And that's what he's done so effectively since joining the UFC. And I didn't even grab you as hard as I could. Oh, it's something new, I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> We're talking about this guy. Right, and he's got a big <laughs> one in front of him today. Vegas believes he should win this fight. We'll see if he can hold serve as the favorite tonight. Representing the passionate town of Liverpool, Merseyside, England, here is the gorilla, Darren Till. This is a man unto himself, very special fighter and young man. He's a very special young man. He's a very special fighter, and the people are drawn to Darren Till. If you witness a Darren Till walkout, as you are right now, you understand that it's very special. He has that star quality, but that star quality means nothing. If you don't have the fighting ability, Darren Till definitely has the fighting ability. What a great frame for this welterweight division. Not always easy for him to make the 171 pound limit, but at least until further notice, Darren Till is a welterweight and a contender at that. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and the same reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. It's who the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 15 losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California, Dan Hendo Henderson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Liverpool, England, Darren Till. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. It's always good to be here in H-Town, Houston, Texas. We are live at Toyota Center tonight. You see this is a venue that has been good to you and your team, and we'll see who can make some more UFC history here tonight. Houston is just a great fight city. People think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked, but some of the biggest fights have happened in the Toyota Center. This is a great fight venue for all UFC fights. Oh, strong punch there by Henderson. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, Darren Till with style points there. Man, every time this guy lands DC, you're hearing the oohs and the ahs from the crowd. Boom, straight left hand. 
can't break your will. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Darren Till. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh! Nice punch there by Henderson. There's no tell on that leg kick. Spinning back fist is there. Elbows up, keep moving. Single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Good punch, Lance. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Knee to the body. Nice right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice hit, bro. Nice. Muay Thai plump. Here, final seconds of round one. Kick to the body by Darren Till. Nice straight punch. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Hey, come in. Come in, come in. You're okay? You're okay? Have a seat. Listen. All right. Hey. All right, here we go with round two. Till gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Nice kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Henderson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Another shot lands upstairs. And they separate. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right! Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he continues to work the body here. 
Hall, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Wow! He needs to start looking the face. Oh! 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 Oh, big left! He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Hills kick to the body, that one blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just misses with a left hook there. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Great punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the turnover in that kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Oh! oh this fight. Back to the feet. Oh! Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Henderson gets stung by that leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Those are big strikes. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go take that Whoa! finish down. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. seconds to go. Back to the feet. Well, oh! Holy smoke! And we a round! Great round, great round. Okay, our counter is killing it. That's what we need to continue to do. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight.
Nice punch there by Henderson. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big leg kick land. Damaging strike there. Oh, and now he lands a combination. Oh, right to the mouth. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 24 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek Chill! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.